my young friends, how are you doing today? In my previous class, I had introduced you to the amazing world of coding using Scratch Junior. Let's make a cute but easy game today with a bunny rabbit. Open Scratch Junior on your tablets. Tap on the home button. Now tap on the plus button to create a new project. New project has been created. Tap on this plus button to choose a new character. And you can see that we can choose from so many digital characters and they can become a part of a story or game. So let's choose this digital rabbit and tap on this tick mark to add it to our project. We don't need the cat anymore. So keep your finger on it until this cross comes and just tap on it to remove the cat. Let's choose a nice background for a game. So tap on this colorful background button and we can choose from all these backgrounds. So let's choose this spring one. Now we can give a new position to our rabbit on our stage, on our game stage. So let's bring it down towards the left of the screen. So this is the left side, okay? And it is now down. Tap on the plus button again. And this time we are going to add a snake. So choose it and press the tick button. Now bring the snake down towards the bottom right of the screen. Now let's use some blocks to make our game work. A snake will start moving left when the game is started and the bunny has to avoid it by jumping. So make sure a snake is chosen here and you know a character is chosen if it has a white outline around it and we can see that there is the snake outline here too. So this means that we are working on the blocks for snake. So let's bring the move left block down and let's tap on it once. And you can see that the snake now knows that it needs to move left. So it is facing left too. What block will we need to tell the snake that the game has started? Yes, you're absolutely right. There's the start on green flag block. Now let's fit this move left block on the right of start on green flag block. Now, when we want to start a game, we have to tap on this green flag here, okay? And then it will start following all the commands that come after the start on green flag block, this yellow one. Okay, so I'm going to tap on it. But my snake just moved once. We want to make it move more. So let's change this number one here. If I tap on it, I can change the number. So I'm going to make it now 20. And let's see what happens. Let's tap on the green flag again. But it stopped again. I want to do it all the time. That is move left. So how to do that? We have to use a special block called repeat forever. And it is inside these red blocks, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to drag this block down and fit it on the right of this move left 20 times block, okay? And let's see how it performs now our game and what the snake does. See, it didn't stop this time. So our snake is doing its job properly in our game. So let's work on a bunny now and tell it what it should do in our game. It needs to jump when we tap on it to avoid the snake. So let's first press the stop button to stop our game and then choose the rabbit from here so that it is selected and now we can write the code for it. And what is the code? Let's look inside the movement blocks, the blue blocks. And you can see that we have this jumping block. So let's see how it performs. So if I tap on it, oh, it didn't jump that high 
and also it came down very fast. So we will make our own jump style by fitting some blocks together. And how can we do that? First, let me get rid of this blue hop block by just throwing it up like this and it's gone. So what we want to do is that when we tap on the rabbit, so how to know when the rabbit has been tapped on. So if I go to my yellow blocks, I have this start on tap yellow block. So I will bring that down. And after that, I'm going to tell it using the blue movement block to go up. Two times. Okay. And then I am going to ask it to wait up there for a while because remember our hop was too fast. So we have to slow our own jump. Okay. So if I tap on these orange blocks, I have this wait block. And this means it will wait for a little time and then we are going to bring it down again. So the move down block again twice because we want it to come down to its old position. So we moved up two times and now we need to come down two times. Okay. And we are going to close our code by using this close block. Okay. This is just to tell that the code is finished here. Okay. So let's see what happens to our rabbit now. See, it waited for a bit and then it came down. So this is a good jump. So let's start our game again. And let's tap on the rabbit to avoid the snake. Yes, that looks good. But how to know that the game is over and the bunny failed to jump over the snake. For example, here, when the snake bumps into the bunny, the game is over. So we need to write some code in snake. Okay. And what is the code? If we go inside the yellow blocks, we have this start on bump block. So let's bring it down and we are going to tell it to stop because something has bumped into him. And the only thing that can bump into the snake is the second character in our game that is the bunny. So we are going to tell the snake to stop moving now because the game is over and we can use a sound to tell that the game is over. For example, this pop sound from here, we have the sounds inside the green block or we can record our own voice. So let's do that. So tap on this microphone Press this red circle button to tell that we are going to start recording and make sure that you press it again, tap it again, once you don't want the recording to happen. So I'm going to tap on it once. Game over. And I tapped on it again to tell it that the recording should be finished. And then tap on the tick mark and we can hear it to finalize it by tapping on it here. Game over. Okay, so this is perfect. So I'm going to put it here. And another thing that I'm going to do is that I am going to make the snake move towards the right once because I don't want it to keep on bumping into the bunny and playing the recorded sound again and again. Okay, so I'm going to move it towards the right so that it does not keep on bumping and then repeating this code. Okay. And this is done. So let's put the cap block to finish our code. So let's play this game in full screen by tapping here and then pressing on the green flag. Tap on the bunny. Tap on the bunny again. Oh, it just bumped. Game over. And see, you heard my voice saying game over. So that done. I hope you like this game. So make this game and ask your friends and family to play. Let's see how long they can make the bunny avoid the snake. In my next class, I will teach you something new and interesting in Scratch Junior. So please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye bye.